no, another little chair. Yeah, this one had. Oh wow, it had. Oh. This is the splint that was on it originally. This is the original. Splint. Wait, what do you mean originally? You uh, mean, do you think when it was made? Yes. Oh, is it when old? It, it's um, I think it's around when they used fiber splint and yeah. cane. It was around the war time. Okay. And this is fiber, and it was on there originally. It broke. And yeah. somebody you left it on, but stapled it better. Yeah. You put this on top, and then this leather oh, wow. stapled on. So okay. I had a so full staple. Vintage on vintage on vintage. <laughs> yes. So if it shows up on the road show, you shouldn't have touched it. You should have even left the repairs of the repairs of the repairs. Nah, this was too nice. And I think this is the original finish, which I yeah. did touch up a little bit. I'm going to varnish it with a one coat of sealer tonight. Okay. Uh, and I, um, it's a lovely little rocker, but it yeah. needed a lot of gluing, which I'm going to put some more glue oh. uh, in a couple places, and that'll finish that up. <clears throat> Where'd you find this one? Um, Rogers. Okay. I paid a little bit more than no. I usually do. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks better. I thought I saw you taking it out of the car. If this is the one, it looks better than already than when you took it out of the car. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of this is the varnish? Yeah. That's what I'm going to put on here. Okay. The last coat, just to seal it. Yeah. And, uh,. Did this uh, little kid's rocker come from the same place? You mean cradle. Is that what it is? Yeah. Um, no. It came from the Coriolis Rift. Oh, okay. Um, what did you do to that? I, I didn't do much for that, but I did make the bedding for it, and I okay. did finish that. I, I, I did clean it. It had tape on it and all kind of, you know, they all have, always have stickers on them. The bedding, and then I did wax it too. I have. Oh. Wax on it. I got to show you. This is okay. the bedding. I don't know. Uh, I make a pillow and a blanket. Uh, okay. Well, maybe when you we look at the chair further along, you'll have this put together. Okay. Let's see real quick. What kind of, oh wow, you found some uh, vintage, vintage material. Oh, isn't that clever? Yeah, and it, it looks really nice. I, I even got little hearts on there with the hearts on the. Uh, oh, to match the. Uh, okay, well, yeah. I guess that's it for today. We'll stop back to the weaver's shop when you get things further along. What's happening in the weaver studio today? Oh, here's this little chair. Yeah, well, it's a rocker. How come the seat looks like it's two different colors? Ah, uh, it's a natural material, and it, well, this one might be a little darker, but it is wetter. Oh, okay, it's wet. But um, this this is going to be is pretty wet too, so yeah. it may be two different colors. Okay. A little bit darker, anyway. I just finished wrapping it, and I'm going to start weaving it. Uh, but I have to stuff it first. Oh. Um. And I usually, I got a little piece of the original seat that I will stuff, you know, I taped it together, oh. and I will stuff it in the chair. The time capsule? Yes. Oh. And um, I usually stuff it with newspaper. Yeah. But that news looks like the padding you took out of it. Yes, it was. And I oh. decided it was clean enough uh, that I would put it back in. I usually stuff it in a paper bag, but paper bags are hard to come by. Oh, yeah. So I got brown paper, and I will put this in the brown paper and I will sign it, date it. Oh, yeah, that's what I was just going to say. If it's a time capsule, there should be some kind of documentation yeah. in there. And I will cut it down and, you know, make a bag out of it and then I slide it. It goes in between the two layers. Oh. That doesn't sound easy to do. It is, well, it isn't, but it is. Okay. Uh, the only thing you get caught up on is the overlaps on the bottom where it's put together. And there's my phone. Okay, well, I'll let you answer that and we'll come back later and okay. see how this finishes up. Talk to you later.
let's catch up to the Weaver again in her studio <laughs> on the loom. We were hoping to catch see you finish that child's rocker with the splint weave. Well, I finished that, but I can show you that on another stool. Okay, well that sounds good. And is this something you're just starting or finishing Actually, up here? Actually, I'm finishing. This is the last rug, and I'm going to have to rework. Well, someday we'll have to catch you on the loom too. Let's see that stool. And to follow the pattern, so I'm going to go under two, over three, under two, over three. Vicious cycle. Here we go. Okay, let's see how uh, that little rocker turned out. Yeah, I think it turned out beautiful. Oh, I was hoping to catch you working on it. Uh, it well, looks like it dried and it's all the same color. Yeah, I replaced some of that. Oh, okay. You yeah, took the. It was I two different colors in the in the I weaving. No, it was one end of it was I think. Okay. But I thought, oh well, it wouldn't take that long. Um, yeah. But it would have it, been nice to see you working on it. Well, I'm going to maybe tear apart this chair today. I, it's mine, and I was. It has a pattern in it, and um, I. It's. Oh, I a, see. There's a diamond. Yeah. It, well, it goes to. Or a, what do you call an arrow? So I was just okay. putting the writing down so that I can didn't have to figure it out later. Yeah. Uh, but. Oh, uh, no, figure what out? Well, the pattern again. You know, I have it figured out for uh, under th four, well, it's over three, under four, over three, and then you go the opposite direction. Oh, okay, and how do you translate that into notes? Mm, just what I said, over three, under three. Oh, okay, and you write it down. Yeah. So, um, you, do you keep a journal or you just keep it on odd little bits of paper? Yeah, that's odd little bits of paper, because I don't oh. do all the chairs the same. Uh, okay, but, well, and I'm thinking about just going to a regular pattern on this. Okay. I don't know. What kind of material is this? It's splint like that, only it's okay. narrower. Now, I don't know what I'm going to use, you know. I could use the wider on this again. Yeah, well, this one was interesting in that the um, oh, original was a fiber, or what, what did you call it? The, yeah, fiber. Uh, as opposed to a natural, because it was made uh, possibly during the war this years. It's a jungle vine. It's Okay. Um, and what's, wait, this isn't the one you took off the little rocker. No, what's this that from? happens to be from the one I just did before this one. The, okay. It was a little rocker, too. Oh, okay, another little rocker. It looks like it was it had a nice red color. That's a good color for yeah. rockers. Okay. Well, it'd be nice to, oh, this one's got a pattern in a sense, too. Oh, no, no, that's, that's the same yeah. as what was that's on the, the on the rocker. Is this one. Yeah. Uh, but it's over three and under three. This one was done with a wider material and over okay. two and under two. Well, this time we'll have to come back and you'll have to catch you working on this one. Yeah, I may tear this and, is holiday. Um, I'm oh, holiday okay. Today. Explain and show exactly what it is you do there. That would be fun to see. Well, t tearing it apart is another story. I hate to tear this apart, and I hate... But there's some space here, and that's Well, how long ago was it done? Uh, you know what? When I open it up, I'll be able to tell you. Oh, you know, I don't believe it. You mean there's a time capsule oh, in this one, yes, too? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. And this could have been done in the 70s. Oh, wow. Or eight. Well, how no, come you still have it? Oh, well, because I like it. What's it look like on the bottom? Oh, it's moldy on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Where was it? I even in did your, the pattern on the bottom. In your, oh, okay. Where was this thing in your um? Well, leaking, it moved around. Cellar. Yeah, my it was moved around a lot. I'm okay. Gonna, well, we're going to come back when you get to the uh, time capsule. Okay. And, um, well, that since, might since, be fun, and I might I can yeah. decide on the pattern now that I have it written down. Okay. We'll stop back later. Well, here we are. They made it to the Swickley Farmers Market. But sometimes she sells them right out of her car in the driveway. And here's that one with the uh, time capsule inside. And the oh, cute little price tag on it. 
Okay, well it wasn't even here for five minutes and the piece is already sold. And the proud weaver of the seat. Okay, there she is. Did it sell? In five minutes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Congratulations. Now you're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to take a picture?